With the announcement of Rogue Core and a slowdown on Deep Rack Galactic development, we've also been informed that development of mod support will come to a halt for the foreseeable future. This is less than ideal. Ghost Ship's implementation of modding has a number of stability issues and extremely inconvenient quality of life quirks that are unlikely to go anytime soon. Dysfunctional profiles, infinite loading, performance hits, total resets of your mod list, getting infected by other approved mods, and so on. It's just bad. Thankfully, there's an alternative. Mod Integration, or MINT for short. Made by prolific modder and great 6 2 player Assembly Storm, this is a lightweight, intuitive, officially endorsed, and altogether much nicer option for mod loading. The more high-level community has been using it for months, with almost no issues encountered, especially compared to Ghost Ship's mod integration. Here's how you use it. Download the latest release of DRG mod integration from the GitHub, linked in the description. Extract the exe file from the archive and run it. You'll get a warning, but the program is safe and open source. Add mods from mod.io by pasting mod.io or other pack links into the add mod bar and pressing enter. Upon doing this, you will be prompted for your mod.io OAuth token. To acquire an OAuth token, Go to mod.io slash access, or simply click on the OAuth link. Log into mod.io, request an API key, and create a client name. The client secret is not the token. Enter any arbitrary name into the new token name field with at least the read permission, and click the plus button to generate a token. Do not show this token to anybody. This token is only shown at the time of creation, but mod integration will save it for you. Input the token into DRG mod integration and save it. Now, just press enter and your mod will be saved to the mod list. You can remove mods by clicking the minus sign next to it, or you can temporarily disable individual mods by unticking the slider and installing mods again. You can also access previous versions easily. Click Update Cache to ensure you have the most recent version of the mod. Add mods as desired, and click Install Mods to install. Mods must be installed while Deep Rock Galactic is closed. To run DRG with normal mod integration again, Uninstall all mods using the Uninstall Mods button in DRG Mod Integration, and all your mod.io settings will be restored. If you're worried about the TDM of transferring all your mods, there's an easy solution. Assembly Storm's Better Modding Menu mod, also linked in the description. Simply subscribe to it in mod.io, and click the Copy All URLs button in the top right corner. Paste the resulting output into Mod Integration, and all your mods will be smoothly transferred over. This can take a second, especially if your mod list is long. Just give it a couple minutes. Now that you have Mint up and running, there are a couple user ships and caveats to be aware of. Unlike official integration, Mint can only alter your mod list while the game is closed. This does come with the benefit of properly disabling mods, though, which official integration doesn't. And restarting your game is much less painful with Mint. Secondly, using this program will automatically tag any lobbies you host with modded in your lobby name. This is because Mint cannot properly tell when a mod affects gameplay or doesn't. However, you can join other people's lobbies with no issue, so long as you're not using a gameplay affecting mod, even if they're not running Mint. Other people can join you with no problem as well, and your lobby will show up along with all the other verified lobbies in the server browser, only tagged with modded. Mint can cause some issues, if you have required by all mods which affect gameplay, especially as host. If the joiner doesn't have the mod, they may experience a variety of problems, from no issue at all to straight up crashes, depending on the level of change the mod creates. Mods like MCR may be the latter, but most minor gameplay changes should not be any significant issue. Custom difficulty, specifically, will not show updated entry costs to players who join without both Mint and custom difficulty enabled. This problem is not exclusive to Mint, though. Official integration has desync problems as well, 
but attempts to remedy it, sometimes unsuccessfully, through ModSync. ModSync is not currently implemented in Mint, though I'm told it may be in the future. Mods will not automatically update, so if you feel the need to do so, you'll have to do it yourself by opening the program and updating the cache. Mod integration does not currently auto-update itself, so in the future you may need to update your copy of Mint through the GitHub. And there you have it! Far better mod integration at your fingertips. If you have any issues, you can join the Practical DRG Discord, linked in the description below. Or you can submit an issue to the GitHub page, which is actively worked on by the wonderful Assembly Storm, who created this program. Please give him some love. He's done a lot for the modding community, from creating the vital custom difficulty to the mainstay build inspector or remove particles, to sandbox utilities, to now mod integration. If you've benefited from these mods or watch people who have, such as me, consider leaving him a tip for all the work he's put in. I'll link his PayPal in the description below. Happy mining out there. Rock and stone.